Welcome to jQuery Mobile School. This is the eighth video in this series. In the first seven videos, we have created the jQuery Mobile front-end app, and we have also created the back-end that gives the front-end the dynamic data to serve the front-end. In this next five-minute video, we're going to learn how to deploy the app that you've created on the internet so that you can share it with your friends and family, and anyone can look at the app that you have created. So let's get started. We are going to create an app on Heroku.com. Heroku allows you to deploy your app and it's free. All you have to do is create an account. It's fantastic. So within the next five minutes, we can deploy your app. The, fir the second step is, the first step is to create, create an account, sign up. The second step is to create an app. Once you log in, you can create an app. You can name your app. I'm testing here with an app name called JQM Test App. So there's a button called Create a New App, and you can enter your name. You can also choose whether you want this app to be United States or Europe. I'm keeping it United States. That's it. That creates your app. It gives you two things. The URL at which the app can be accessible. That will be jqmtestapp.herokuapp.com. And it also gives you a Git URL. Take a note of this Git URL because this is going to be very helpful when we have to push code or when we have to deploy your code to this URL. So this git at Heroku app, heroku.com colon jqmtestapp.git. That is pretty important URL to keep. The next most important thing here is to follow the instructions. There is a pretty good page called Getting Started with Heroku. The three main things is you know you have to make sure you've signed up. Only then you can create an app with that URL that I just showed you. You have to install Heroku Tool Belt. This is pretty important. For your operating system, there's a separate software you need to install so that from your computer you can communicate securely with Heroku. You have to set up SSH keys so that uh, once you create a public and private key, you have to paste your public key on Heroku so that Heroku knows who is sending them code to be deployed. And you have to make sure that you can log in. So this is a pretty important document that I want you to follow. This is found on the Heroku Getting Started. So the, when you create an app, it has the first link. It has the link to get started with Heroku. So follow that. Make sure you've gone through all the three steps. Before you mo move forward, I can't emphasize this more, but make sure you have installed Heroku Tool Belt, and you can log into Heroku, and you have set up SSH keys as well. All right. So in this case, our jQuery mobile app, I'm going to have a Scala app as the backend. So I'm just going to use Scala as the backend for this. So I'm going to choose Getting Started with Scala on Heroku document. It's a pretty good doc that you can take a look. So I'm going to create a new play app. I'm just going to say play new my app name. I'm going to name it YouTube app. Once I create the app, I can change the index action in the application controller to some text. And I can test that uh, my app is running by using play run. So we've created a new app, we've made sure it's running and compiling, and we've tested it locally. What we do next is we create a public folder in the root, and we place all of our HTML, the landing page for your jQuery mobile app, in the HTML, and all of your jQuery mobile JS. CSS files under JS, JavaScript and Sajis and all the images under images. Once we do that, we need to add the routes so that when people come to your website, they need to locate your index page, which is your jQuery mobile index page. And you also need to add route that says slash assets colon star file so that it routes all of your public. So when you go to slash assets slash JS slash 1.js, it'll route to your public folder, slash 1.js. So you need to add these two routes so that 
uh, all the resources that your index page links, the JS, CSS, etc., is routed correctly in their local file system. So video number seven, the one video before this, goes into a lot of detail about uh, how we create this app. This, app, this five minute video is all about deploying your app. So if you don't know about this routing and all of the files and how it works, I would recommend you to look at video number seven and then you can use this. So now we have added routes, as we know. So we have an app that's working. You've added routes and it's and we've tested it locally. Now what we're going to do is we want to deploy this app. So what we do is we first initialize the repo. So we do git init. So you cd into your app that you've created. It. You created play new JQM test app. Now you go inside that folder and then you, and then you do git init. That'll initialize an empty git repo for you. And then you remember the first step we created uh, the app. It gave us the git URL. So we need to add git remote add name of this is Heroku and then the URL that that it gave you. This is basically saying I want my remote named Heroku point to this URL, right? So basically all of your local code will be pushed to this git repo which is hosted on Heroku.com. You can test that the remote addition worked fine by doing git remote minus v. It will point you to fetch and push Heroku URL. So we have initialized the empty git repo and we've added Heroku remote URL so that we know when we commit and when we push it'll, it'll go to Heroku. So the next step is to commit all of your code and then push. So you do git commit minus a minus m and then you give a test message and then you push all of your changes git push push it to Heroku because we created Heroku as our remote here so now we are going to do a push on Heroku so git push Heroku master which is basically saying from my local copy push everything to Heroku.com once you push to Heroku it will automatically deploy on Heroku it will deploy it will take about a few minutes and then the, the URL that it gave you in the very first step if you go to that URL your application is up and ready so now, if you go to your index page, your jQuery mobile app can be served on this, and it has a Scala backend ready.